What is going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here, welcome back to another video on the gaming channel, another strategy guide. This time we're doing a strategy guide for Shangri-La, arguably the hardest map on Zombie Chronicles for Black Ops 3. So yeah, Shangri-La is a very difficult map, it's very hard to train, there's no kind of training spots or camping spots on this map. Um, so yeah, it can be very very difficult for people to get to high rounds on. So yeah, this is a pretty decent strategy, so first of all, Gobblegum setup, now setup for the gobble gums, I recommend having uh, some kind of gobble gum that can give you uh, ammo back, so alchemical or cash back, or preferably both of those if you have them. Also, emulation liquidation, so that you can get three fire sales and you know try and get uh, good guns out of the box immediately or as fast as possible. So those are very good gobble gums to have. As for the fourth one. That's, I'll leave that one up to you guys, uh, whichever one you prefer for the fourth gobblegum. Now this strategy does also work without gobblegums, um, so you don't need, uh, you can still follow this strategy without gobblegums. Obviously it will be easier with gobblegums of course. So once you get into the game, what you're going to want to do is buy Quick Revive straight away and head to the power room to turn the power on. On your way to the power room you can also buy, you know, the CUDA off the wall or the AK or something like that um, so that uh, you have a half decent weapon to defend yourself with to begin with. Now what you want to do is if you open up to the box which will always spawn I believe in the kind of water pool area um, you do not want to open the door the kind of circular door in that area. You don't want to open that. It will lead you up to where, to where the kind of rope bridge is. You don't want to open that door. You want to keep that closed. Um, you can find your other way around to get to there. So where you want to basically camp is across the rope bridge right in this area here. Now you want to camp down by the door because all the zombies will just kind of pile into that area and because you have the door closed none of the zombies will spawn behind you. Other people who have done this strategy I've looked and I've seen that they have the door open for some reason and therefore they get attacked from behind a few times. Only a couple of zombies spawn uh, behind you but they will attack you and it can be a bit of a nuisance and it can be difficult. Um, but if you keep that door closed like I did then none of them can spawn behind you so you can just focus on the zombies that are coming in front of you and it's very very uh, easy, well it's a lot easier than having the door open basically. So yeah you just want to camp there, now you want to make sure you have the baby maker and as for the secondary weapon, ray gun mark 2 is probably the best one to use in this situation, other than that maybe maybe the dracon uh, with like a laser dot sight or a dot sight instead of a, a zoom scope would be good as well. Um, but yeah you need the baby maker, that's the most important weapon which is why your emulation liquidations will come in handy because you can use those to you know hit the box loads and loads of times and to, to try and get that weapon basically. Once you get the weapons, once you get your four main perks, just get the normal perks, they're fine, you know, speed cola, double tap, uh, juggernaut and quick revive, those four will do fine, uh, you shouldn't really need any other perks but if you have a perkaholic or a soda fountain or unquenchable then by all means go ahead and get more perks if you wish. Uh, once you, you've got your weapons and your four perks, uh, you just want to camp there with the Baby Maker and the Raygun Mark II if you have it or the Dracon and just save up till you can pack a punch both of your weapons. Now once you have the weapons pack a punched, that you just want to stay in that area and just keep killing the zombies that are running in uh, through that area. It's actually a really 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 good strategy especially with the door closed behind you. You can just fire your baby maker at the zombies that are pouring in and then just run into them and you can kill huge groups of zombies at once especially once the rounds get higher and you get much more zombies pouring in. Um, it's also you know, killing napalm zombies is good as well right at the entrance because that way all the zombies running towards you will die in the fire that the napalm zombie leaves and obviously just pick up um, drops like insta kills uh, uh, death machines and obviously max ammos are very important too. As for gobble gums, you always want to have a gobble gum equipped that's going to give you more ammo as a backup in case you don't get a max ammo in time when you start running out of ammo, so alchemical or cashback. And of course there is a gobble gum machine on the other side of the rope bridge that you can go to at the end of each round to hit the gobble gum machine 
and try and get one of those gobble gums. And then that's it. That's literally it, guys. You just got to camp there. Um, also note that the monkeys can steal your drops, which can actually be useful if you get a bad drop like a carpenter. You can let the monkey pick it up and wait for it to change to like an, a max ammo and then kill the monkey and pick up your max ammo. I wasn't very good at doing that, to be honest. Um, I kept forgetting and just picking up the drops as soon as they spawned. But if you're able to do that, you can do that as well. So yeah, that is literally it. Just stand there, kill the zombies that are pouring in. I recommend, to begin with, um, using the Raygun Mark II more than the Baby Maker. So use the Raygun Mark II into the 30s, because once you get past sort of mid 30s, it starts to become less effective. The Raygun Mark II is not efficient enough at killing the zombies that are pouring in that area and that are funneling down into the kind of cave that you're in. Um, they're no good at it's no good at that once you get into sort of the mid mid 30s. So keep using the Raygun Mark II as often as possible before you reach the point where it becomes ineffective. And then once it becomes ineffective, sort of mid 30s, then just use the Baby Maker and only use the Raygun Mark II during insta kills and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically it. I made it to around 46 doing this strategy. Um, I could have made it further. The only reason I died was because I got distracted. Um, if, if you watch the playthrough, you'll see why. Um, but it was my own stupidity that got me down. It would have, I reckon I would have probably made it to 50 um, if I had been concentrating more. Um, so yeah, you can definitely get to sort of the 50s, maybe even over the 50s doing this strategy. Uh, so it's a very, very good strategy, especially on such a hard map like Shangri-La. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, the strategy guide. If you want to see the full playthrough from the footage that you're seeing just now, that will be uploaded shortly, uh, within the next day or so. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the strategy guides. I apologise that I haven't uploaded in about a week. I was just busy doing other stuff, but hopefully the up uploads will be more regular now. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.